These are steps on how to configure the time lock setting using the PC software for the ESL audit. First log in with a manager level passcode. Once you've logged in you press 4 for USB. You insert the USB drive into the bottom left slot. You press 1 for save. Once the USB drive is recognized, you'll be said be given a choice to say OK. You quit and then remove the USB drive. At this point, you go to the PC software. You insert the USB drive in the computer. Using the main menu, you go to File, Open, and select the removable drive. If it doesn't show up originally, you can press this drop down arrow. It'll usually say removable drive. The file that we're looking for by default is going to is going to be called ESL audit. You select that and hit open. So this lock has two different locks in the configuration file. Here you can change the access type to pin or key only, the daylight savings, the holiday schedule. Since we have two locks, we're given the scroll menu for lock one and lock two. If we were going to allow time lock settings, for lock one, you make sure you click the time lock, have that checked, and now we set the date and time. So you have four periods. In this instance, we will set the time lock period where you can open the lock from 8 a.m. and allow it to have two hours. If you have a set schedule throughout the whole week, you can copy that to all days. If it's a specific day, you can change Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But I selected Monday. It's open from 8 at 8 o'clock for two hours. I copy to all days. For lock two, if you have a different schedule, you select next. And now you have the settings for lock two. Here it says lock 2, and here is the settings. Within the software, we can also enable or disable time delay. For lock 2, here's the time delay setting, and here is the time lock settings. So I'll allow an open period from 3 p.m., 4 hours, and I'm going to copy that to all days. Once you have the time lock settings configured, remember making sure that the time lock checkbox is checked. You can check or enable the time delay settings. So time delay is the amount of time it takes when you enter your passcode to open the lock as a grace period. And time lock is the time you can actually open the safe during the period of the day. Once you've set your appropriate configuration you go to file output to flash drive select the same file the ESL audit file and hit save once it's written you press OK remove the flash drive from the PC come back to the lock Log in with at least manager level access. You press 4 for USB and you press 2 to load the system. Insert the USB drive in. It'll beep to say that the USB drive is accepted. 
and you hit OK, it'll ask, are you sure? You select OK. The system will reboot. I will remove the flash drive. I will log in with a user that I've created. If I first see the time, well, let me just quit out because the user, regular user, can't change the time. They don't have permission to do that. Right now, I have 9:23. The time lock was starting at 8, from 8 to 10, I've got access to the safe. So I'll log in as a demonstration. I've given access. Now with the manager password, or super user password, I'm going to change the actual time of this lock to show a different time. Press 4 to change the time. And I'm going to make it new. I will quit. I will use the same user to attempt to log in. Open door one. It'll say time lock. Access denied. That's how you configure time locks using the PC software.